This is a tutorial on what the local history, events journal and history plugins each do. The history plugin is located between the events journal and favourite PTT plugins. The history plugin records all voice messages and replies. Users' conversations are recorded as one file. A new file is created when there has been a 10 second break between PTT button activations. The recording time limit, which is how far you can look back, can be set by users that have access to T Commander. To use the history plugin, you need to have a T Recorder license, as it saves these recordings directly to the server. You can search for a record by using the filter options in the workspace. You can filter by username, channel name, date and time, as well as record type. You can search using more than one filter. Just select add for each search criteria you would like to use and then select apply. The events journal is located between the History and Local History plugins. All events apart from voice recordings are stored here. This could be events such as emergency activations, low battery warning or passing in and out of a geofence zone. There is a blue indicator line on any new events that have not yet been viewed. When you click on the event this disappears and it is marked as red. Alternatively you can select the button which says Mark all as red. This is located in the top right corner. The dispatcher can leave a comment, edit or delete an event at any point. The local history plugin is located next to the dynamic groups plugin. Local history allows you to save voice recordings locally on your machine rather than the server. To activate this, go to settings in the top right corner. Then select local history. Check the box that says enable call recording locally. Any future recordings should now be shown in the local history. This tutorial has demonstrated how to use each plugin and the difference between them. For more information and tutorials, go to www.support.g6-global.com.